what's up loose i'm back here with another video and today i'm going to show you guys how to make a youtube banner so first these are the apps that i use pix art and fun so those are the only two you're going to need so the first thing we're going to do is press that camera in the middle and then go to plain images and then you're going to press any one of those and now we're going to set the dimension to yep you see it to 1048 to 463 and then you're going to press done and then you're going to save it in the top right corner and then we're gonna go out, go back to the Safari and type in aesthetic backgrounds. All right, and this it would, this it would, <laughs> but this is what comes up. So I chose the butterfly theme and you're gonna see it in a few minutes, but all of those are cute girls. So you choose whatever one you like. Um, This is, that's the theme that I chose. It's gonna be a little bit brighter than that though. Come on, yep, that one. Yep, that's it. So we're gonna save this one to our photos. And then we're gonna go back out, go to Flinto. And then we're gonna click the bottom left corner, add image, and then we're gonna add the image across there. So you're gonna size it to make it fit. And then you're gonna tilt it to make it horizontal. And then you're gonna press save image. So when we rolled oh, up, it's the ad. So that would kill me, but y'all know I ain't gonna pay for no ad free uh, app. Okay, so we're just gonna wait till it's done. Okay, it's done. So now you're going to remove that image off of there, right? So it's gonna be a little confusing here. So make sure you pay attention. So remove that off of there, and right here it's gonna be a little bit complicated. I don't know why my phone was like stupid. So go to add image and click that one that you just saved, and now you're gonna size that into 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 that that dimension like that size and then you're going to try to remove that big picture so now you have the right size right so now you're going to size it until it fits the background all right so now you have it so now it's time to like insert pictures so i'm, I'm going to show you guys how i insert my pictures and how i like cut out the background and do all of that stuff so we're gonna go to PixArt, right? Press the plus sign button. And as you can see, I already cut out some photos, but I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. So we're gonna scroll through my pictures and we're gonna find a good photo. I'm trying to find a very good photo. So be patient with me. All right, so we're gonna use this one right here. No, we're not gonna use that one. Okay, so we're gonna use the homecoming picture that I took. And then we're gonna go to cut out and you're gonna press person. And it's gonna already like outline everything that you want to keep. So you're just gonna do some alterations and edit until like you like how your picture is cut out, basically. And I don't know what I was doing here being hip handed. All right, so you see my hair is left out. So I'm just gonna add that back in there using that paintbrush. And then you're gonna preview it. Okay, and see, I'm a perfectionist, so it took me a while to finish this. So I'm gonna tell you what to do after I get done doing that. All right, now I'm done. Press preview, and I like it. So we're gonna save it, right? Go back to Funto, click that left corner button, press add image, and click that picture. So now you're gonna size it to make it fit. So I'm sizing it. So now that I showed you how to use, well, how to use PixArt and to cut out the background, we're gonna just use the pictures that I already have done. So I'm gonna use that photo as well. Yep, gonna use that. I'm gonna size it to make sure it's right. And then if you have any questions, if this tutorial is too fast, just comment below and I will try my best to help you. Um, because making a banner can be hard, especially for like beginner YouTubers. I ain't know how to do this. My cousin made my banner. So she told me how to just go on YouTube and look at a video. And this is going to be the easiest video ever. Okay. If I can follow this, I know you can too. So just, if you got any questions, comment down below and I will try to help you. All right. And then I'm going to use one more picture to put in the middle of this, um, banner. And it's going to be, oh, 
Ooh, that girl bad. All right, so we're going to size it and put it in the middle. So y'all can see how it looks so far. It's coming together and it looks so good. You can add more pictures if you would like. You can add pictures all across. But me, I just decided to do the middle. All right, and so we're going to do some adjustments to make it, you know, even on each side. Now you're going to just add your text. Yeah, and then you're gonna put the name of your channel and I'm gonna put Brunella Sparks. Yep, so the font that I'm using is right there, girl. I don't know the name, child, but you see it and you can, you know, compare them when you actually do this. Press done and then you're gonna style it. So you're gonna style based off the background of your picture. Mine is like a blue, sky blue color. So now I'm gonna use the text and then I think I messed up right here, but I want the text to be white and the scroll to be sky blue. Yes, scroll to be sky blue. I think I'm doing it right here. Let me see. I got to find out which one. Okay, this the one. So now you're going to make that. You're going to size it in your banner to make it visible. But before you do that, you're going to duplicate the same thing. And you're just going to add a stroke to that. Okay. So, you're going to go size it, make it big, right? And then the one, the second one that you duplicated, you're going to put it under the first one to make it look like a thick, like a layered um, front. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. You see how it looks layered? Just like that. So, bam. Period. Don't play. And that's how it's going to look. So, I'm going to zoom in to let y'all actually see, like, get a good view. So, now we're going to go back. And now we want to add, like, the Instagram and your Snapchat. So, you're going to put sky blue Snapchat. If you got a pink banner, pink glittery Snapchat logo. Pink glittery, glittery Instagram logo. So, I'm doing Snapchat now. And we're going to add the photos. And you're going to do the same thing. Go to PixArt. Scratch the background out and then just go back to front so and insert the picture. Easy, I'm telling you. It's easy. Background. Yep. Just like that. And it's going to take me a while to do this. So y'all just be patient because I don't know what I was thinking right here. I'm just a perfectionist. So. Anything that messes up that I don't like, I'm going to go back and fix it. See, I'm all over the... What, what am I doing? But you get the point. You get the point. It's the same thing. You're going to get all... Try to include all of the logo in there. So, get all around it. And I think this is going to be good enough in a few minutes. Just hold on. Because I think this this going to be it. All right. Now, let's save it. Come on now. Cause it, all right. Boom. So, we're going to save it. Save it. All right. Mm -hmm. Then, we're going to go back to Fanto. Left corner again. Done. And you're going to add it in the picture. And then, you're just going to size it so it won't be too, too big. So, you're going to size it. And I think I'm going to put in my Instagram name first. I messed it up. I was supposed to put my Snapchat name, but I'm going to reverse that action when I really figure out what I had done. Done. The same font. Same font. All right, now I realize that I put the wrong name. See, like, no, girl, like, what is that? That's the wrong name. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, my Instagram name is totally different. All right. Now, I got, I figured it out. So, now, I got to put the same font. There we go. So, now, we're about to go use the, find the Instagram logo. 
So sky blue Instagram. We're gonna replace the Snapchat wire with Instagram. Yep. And then we're gonna find the logo. It looks good. I really like that one, but it didn't stand out. So I chose not that one, but the other one. Yep, that one. So we're gonna add the photos, then we're gonna do the same thing in Pix Art. Erase the background. Pix Art. I hope I said that right. I think this one gonna be faster because I just deleted the whole thing and circled what I did need. Well, yep, that's exactly what I did. So this should be faster. Hurry up, Lou. Okay, yep, mm hmm. It's doing it now. So after that, you're gonna save it. I ain't saved yet. Oh my God. Perfectionism. I'm telling you. Just perfectionist. I got to be a perfectionist. Bones are still cracking. What? Oh my God. Come on. I've been doing. All right. So after that. I'm just going to continue to just adjust and make this how I really want it to look. And then, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to wait. And then after that, we're going to save it because it don't have to be perfect because you're really not close up on it. So, <sighs> oh, I feel a nap coming on. So we're gonna save it like that and then we're gonna see i'm a perfectionist see we ain't saved it yet okay i think it's something about to say now come on now all right so boom now we're gonna save it and then we're gonna insert it into the um banner and we're gonna size it make it the right size i was gonna put it on the other side but it didn't look good over there so it's just Put it right there, and then we're gonna put the right name this time. Bam! And then we're gonna put the stroke on there again, sky blue. And then you're gonna put the name up there, and then there you have it. Now, if you want to add a little spice, I'm gonna show you how to do that like this subscribe button. You basically do it the same way, but I'm about to show you now. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the internet and we're gonna type in the subscribe logo. And then you could choose whatever one you want to choose. I just chose that one because it was the first one up there. The third one up there, technically. So, we're going to edit the photos. And then we're going to basically continue to do the same thing. So, if you haven't seen a pattern in doing this banner, it's basically finding the background, making the background match the correct size, dimension. And then you're going to just continue to go back and cut. Well, just cut out your pictures and insert them on the banner so like it's the same thing over and over again it's nothing it's like it's not, it's not a new step you know what i mean like and that's what i learned because at first i was looking like who finna do that but girl when you actually get it it's easy it's easy so i'm trying to make it right because it look crooked and ghetto and everything else so we're gonna strain it up to make it look straight see what i'm doing now what is it Okay, so we're going to erase the top to make it a straight line. Oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. I'm thirsty. By the time they get done, I'll be back. Okay, all right. All right, so now that I saved it, I'm going to take it right back to Funto and then insert that same picture 
in my banner and we're gonna size it locate it wherever you want it put it wherever you want it and see i put mine on the right hand side because that just didn't look right right there <laughs> so i put it on the right hand side and y'all gonna see that in a few minutes girl place this thing hurry up and place it it don't take that long to place it okay so right side not left I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. Uh, I was just trying to make it look right. So, I did it. Now, we're going to save that image. And now, all right. So, now I'm going to go to my photos. And then, that's how it looks. Yay. So, now we got to go make it size into the YouTube banner. Like, you got to show on the banner. And it got to show on your phone, on your computer. So, you're going to look up the YouTube banner template. And you're, you're going to use that one. And then we go back to Flanto. You're going to type in plain images again. And then you're going to put in. I got to see what I got to see what I did. I think it was 20. I mean, 2048 over 1150. I got to see. Let's see. I don't know which one it was. I'm looking on my computer right now. That's exactly why it's taking me so long. But um, while I'm looking, how y'all day been? What y'all been doing? You know, if y'all want to see some more videos or whatever videos. Like, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm done. Talk of 20. 2048 over 1152. All right. So now you're going to place the template in there. You're going to size it correctly because that does matter. All right. Yup, 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 yup. See, it's gonna take me a minute to adjust. Okay, I think I got it in there right. And then after that, you're gonna click the left hand side. Not the left, the corner, the left hand corner with the three lines. And image, and now you're gonna add your banner. You're gonna size your banner over the entire thing, like that little section in the middle. You're going to size it in there. Yep. And we're going to mess with the width a little bit and the height. And we're going to scratch it. See, that was too big. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah. It is right. So. Now, I'm just trying to make sure that it is in the correct dimension and stuff. Cause, all right, now we're going to save the image. And then, I'm going to show y'all how it's supposed to look when you did it right. If you follow all these steps, then this is how it's supposed to look. I need you, Aiden. 